so first of all, first, how do words? Hi friends, it's been a while. Uh, we are coming up on one year of my quarantine and my motivation is, let's say non-existent. That seems more charitable. Um, but I think that it is high time we get back to my Search for the Perfect Bra series. I know at the end of my first video I said that I was going to do the Red Threaded Edwardian Corset pattern for part two, but um, the snow has, mel has begun melting. Uh, it is March, and I know that it is only a matter of time before every single day here in merry old New York City will be somewhere between 85 and 90,000 degrees. And sometimes I don't want to wear a full corset. I love layers, but sometimes that final one that's just like right next to your skin is just too much for me. So I have picked up a pattern for some 1930s underwear. I did originally buy these because I hate most modern short patterns. They're too short and too tight and mostly uncomfortable. So I originally bought them, bought this pattern for um, these shorts, but I figure why not go ahead and make, please focus, uh, make the bra too. So we're gonna make a mock-up um, and hopefully end up with a usable kind of bralette, uh, which is something that I'm very into on the days that I don't feel like lacing myself into anything. So we're going to start with a muslin mock-up because I have learned my lesson. Um, this is once again the remnants of my American Duchess cape mock-up. Um, and my plan is to make the final version out of this, uh, which is the skirt of a dress that I turned into a shirt for a friend a year ago when theaters shut down and I was out of a job. Um, I don't act in Broadway theater as I bartend there for now. We'll see. Uh, so let's get started with part two of the search for the perfect bra. It's in 1930s underwear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut 12 for the cups and 10 for the band. And I might add a little, as you can see, it's pretty much just cup. And then that feeds into the band. I might add a little, a little extra underneath. We'll see how the mock-up goes, but that currently is my plan.
Okay, first of all, the first thing I noticed was that the band part was not nearly big enough. So I just added a little, little thing, a little extra panel um, right here. I just kind of tacked on some hooks and eyes. And the second thing is that unless gathering right, the gathering right here drastically changes the shape, I'm going to have to take in a little tuck on both sides right here. So let's do some gathering. Hmm. Should have made my bed before I filmed in here, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, I'm covering the microphone. Um, actually, let's try gathering from the bottom up. How's that? Um, I'm gonna say right now it feels pretty comfy. Um, I might lengthen the straps a little bit, but I mean. Yeah, for, I'm going to say for, for the most part it feels pretty comfy. That's good. Alright, so now I've got it gathered. Let's just finish up this and then try it on by itself and see what happens. Okay. So I didn't really do much here. I just kind of tied the strings together and I pinned little tucks here. I mean, I'm sure that it will be, it will feel a little more supportive when I have two layers and it's not just a single layer of muslin, but right now, um, it feels a little bit like I'm not really <laughs> wearing anything more than like a tight t-shirt. Um, but let's, hmm, um, I don't think I'm going to get much more than this. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out how well it's going to work until I actually just make the thing. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to like make it and make it pretty and nice. And if I don't like it, then we'll know that this is one for the scrap pile. But I, I'm hoping that once I add a second layer of fabric and a stiffening layer in between the two that it'll get a little bit better. And I think I'm also going to add a ribbon under here just to add a little bit more security. Let's go. Okay, so what I did just quickly is I added a little panel under here that's kind of like a, an extended V shape that actually seems to be kind of helping. What I also might do is start the gathering lower or higher so that the whole thing isn't gathered. It's just like the top bit. Um, so far, I'm not too impressed with this. Um, I like I felt really good about the short stays. And so far, this is not really impressing me. So I guess we really will just have to like finish it and go from there. But so far, I'm pretty, pretty ambivalent about this. Um, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not super impressed with its support capabilities. Uh, I am vehemently opposed to underwire, so I know I'm not going to add any of that. Um, and maybe it's just it's been a really long time since I made anything without boning in it, but... Uh, man, I'm just not really, not really feeling it yet. So, I'll, let's make the whole thing and see what happens from there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is that it is much more supportive when I have more than one la one layer. I don't know why I thought that was going to be the case. That's always the case. 
but um, I, I don't know if you can really see that. Um, I made, I like added extra to the band. It's still a little bit tight. Um, I chose to use buttons instead because I had two buttons left over from, this used to be um, a skirt or a dress. But I had two buttons left over. Um, I did not gather as much. I just kind of gathered just a, little, just a little, little bit. Um, I think it's cute. Um, it's pretty comfy. Um, it's, again, not really as supportive as I want it to be. Maybe I could fix that by tightening the straps. Um, I might do that. I might just take a little tuck in the straps. But for now, uh, I am going to work with this and I will check back in with you in a few days after I've had a chance to wear it for a few days and really see how I feel. So I will see you in a bit. So I have been in this bra for like a day, less, less than a full day. And I already can tell that it's my least favorite of the things that I've made thus far, which to be fair is technically two, but you've only seen one because the other one I made and I started and before I had a YouTube channel and finished pretty recently, but it's, it offers the same, like it feels kind of like a sports bra, it's just about that comfortable, but it doesn't offer the same support as a sports bra, so like why would I not just wear a sports bra, um, which is in fact what I am Attempting to not do, because that's mostly what I did for quarantine, was wear a sports bra every day. And, uh, I know that this is technically just a mock-up, but I am just super not impressed with it. Um, I'm sure this would work great for someone who had a much smaller chest, but for me and for my fellow busty ladies, it's just not great. Um, I feel like the girls are down by my belly button. I feel like an old lady, which is not really how I want to feel at 26. So I, I'm going to call it here. This, this is very far from the perfect bra. Um, very far. So hopefully we will have better luck with the next installment. I'm not going to say what it is because Obviously, I can't stick to that, uh, since at the end of my last one, I said it was going to be um, a Victorian corset, and this was not that. Um, I did just, just like this morning, order a mini modern sewing machine that will hopefully do better with stretchy fabric, and that has a zigzag stitch, so I will actually hopefully be able to make some like real bralettes, modern bralettes with like elastic and stretchy fabric. So when that sewing machine arrives, I will explore some of the patterns I have for actual like modern bralettes, not a bra pattern from 1930. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time and hopefully things will go better in the next installment. This has been the search for the perfect bra. This one today was not it. All right, bye friends.